Hey, this video that we're going to be doing today is to show you how to get your name organized or, or a quick little phrase organized to put on the top of your keepsake box. This is kind of my final outcome uh, that you can see on the screen of what I want to be able to create um, and get made on the CNC machine when I'm ready to put it onto the cover of my um, box. So let me show you how I got to this point. So first thing I have here is I use, I'm going to use some sort of media to create the design. Uh, my idea is to use Spark because it's free at school and it works really well. Uh, Spark.adobe.com. So I'm going to log in with school account. And it's really cool because everything just syncs up with Google. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with Google. So I'm not going to worry about typing in my email address. I'm going to give it a quick second to get loaded. Continue with Google. And then once I'm in here, um, I'm going to have to accept my account. Use my school account, not my home one, and mine, not Mr. Harris's. Okay, now when I get here, I'm going to use school company or school account to get in, and then it'll open up my account. It will show you everything that I've been working on so far. Um, and what I want to do, again, is I want to create some sort of phrase. I can either just put my name, uh, Brad Singer, or I could put something like uh, the example you saw here that says uh, Brad Stuff or um, some short, some small phrase. We can't use a huge amount of space because our cover, um, again, the top of our box is only eight by five and a half inches. So we need to make something that's that's a little small, but does show some personality with it. So um, when Spark opens, you'll see that I have some designs that I've already created um, in my recent projects. And you'll actually see the one that uh, I already showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, and I'll show you again here. This is the one that I created on the VCarve software, which is going to be the final software um, that we use before we put the thing onto our uh, CNC machine. So when we go to make stuff, here it is. When we go to make stuff, and these are all coasters that I've made for a different project. Um, what we want to do is we just want to go up here to the plus sign, and I'm going to grab a custom size graphic. Now, what worked really well for us for a four inch by four inch for other projects was um, 500 pixels by 500 pixels. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one just to kind of make sure it's not too massive when I go to put it into the VCarve software. <laughs> Boom. All right. And then what it'll do is it'll open up a nice uh, small square for me to work on. Um, and it will be a big enough space for me to be able to create my, my items. And really, I'm just going to be using text, you know, icons, you know, images, nothing like that. This is just going to be a quick, simple thing that can be made on the uh, CNC machine in really under 10 minutes um, from beginning to end of the final process uh, going through it on the machine. So let's go ahead and um, get ready with setting this stuff up. First thing you're going to notice up here is it says my post. We want to make this personalized so we know that this is for maybe box top name. That's what I'm going to call it, box top name. Okay. So when making this, I'm not going to use any templates or anything. I'm just going to go over and click on the add button and click text. Now I'll move myself out of the way here. They have all these different templates you can use. We want to keep it really, 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 really simple. So we're not going to use all those templates. I'm just going to go to add your text. And again, um, I want to put some real small phrases, Brad stuff. So let's make this one um, something a little different. Um, I'm just going to put my name. I like it all bold or capitalized. Brad Singer. So that should show up on the screen then, and you'll see the size that, it, that it's located. Now, we don't want any colors or anything, so <clears throat> what we want to do is just make sure that the text 
text color is black because it doesn't matter to the machine at all and it looks a lot easier for us to find things if we just keep it black. I don't want this shape where it has a, a box around it. I want just an empty shape, just a real basic, simple one. So I'm gonna play around with these until I find one that I like. Um, this one probably is perfect enough. Oh, that's too much. How about down here? That's the one I think I used before, or this one. I can use that one or this box. Um, but I just want to find something that's real simple that I know that when I put it into the CNC machine, it's going to work fine. I kind of like that one. So now that it's done, um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to download. And I'm going to download it as a JPEG. And I'll download that onto my computer. And then the only other thing I have to do now is I have to make sure this is an SVG file. So what I need to do at this point is I need to just open up the converter to go from JPEG to SVG. So on our Fab Lab website, we do have the link for JPEG to SVG converter. So you can go ahead and use this, or you can just Google JPEG to SVG converter, and you'll be able to find something as well. It's not, uh, it's not that difficult to go on the internet and find something that can do this. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that image that was created on Adobe Spark and I'm going to convert it so that the SVG file um, is, is uh, the new version or the new type of file that I can use. So like using very simple once it loads, you go and then you're just going to convert it and it will automatically download it for you onto your computer. Of course, if you're using a Chromebook for this, um, that file is going to, you're going to have to save as a cloud, which I'll show you. So I'm going to drop the files here. So I'm going to pick the file that I created, box top name. It's got the one because I named that something else before. So there it is, it's downloaded. Start my conversion. It's a lot quicker than even opening the website, <laughs> which is good to know. Getting there. Okay, now at this point, if you're using the PC, it's gonna automatically download it right here as SVG. Using your Chromebook, you're gonna have to go to Cloud Upload and you're gonna have to click Save to G Drive. And all you have to do then is just log in to your Google um, account. And then it will, once you're logged in, it will automatically send it to your My Drive. So then you'll have to go find it in your Google Drive, and that works just as well. You can pull that out later. You can um, open those files on a PC. Uh, so this is probably the best way to save your file is to save it onto your Google Drive, and then it's there as an SVG file for as long as you have your account. So it doesn't matter at that point. So that's how you're going to um, use some sort of media to create your name um, so that you can put this information um, into uh, the vCarve software later. And then hopefully, once you get into the vCarve software later, it's gonna look like this with whatever design you have. And then we're gonna be able to put this onto the box. I'll have a different video of how to use the vCarve software to take this real simple design and make it, because you're gonna have to do this on your own on a PC that has the software. Um, we'll save it on a flash drive and then we'll take it over to uh, the CNC machine. So that's the end of this video. We'll see you later.